Welcome to this Windows channel and this is another video to uh, continue our review of the Spring Careers Update or the latest version of Windows 10 that will um, be available pretty much tomorrow, April the 10th. So today we will look at um, a couple of new features that are quite interesting. The first one, timeline. So once, once you actually have upgraded to version 18.03, what you will see is this new icon on your taskbar. This looks like a set of films if you want. This is timeline and this is what it looks like. So on the right side of your screen you will have a timeline that of course when you go through will give you the dates and you see all these tiles that appear depending on the date on your uh, computer. So what does that mean? It's simply everything you did with the time. So for example, if you look at what you did today, you see here I've got a small six tiles for today, which is April 9th. But if I click see all 26 activities, it will actually make me uh, view every little thing that I've did. Um, now here you see internet um, articles that I've gone through um, with Microsoft Edge, but also you could see here Tech News Template, so that's my Tech News that I worked on, and so on. And uh, you see pretty much everything you did during the day, which is kind of cool. And uh, it's, of course, uh, showing you all the activity. The idea behind this is very simple. Go back in time to view something. For example, you've worked on an article in Word five days ago. You want to go back to that article. Well, instead of maybe scrambling and searching where it is and what, you know, you just go through the timeline, go to the date that you were working on that article, and you click on it. You want to see something that you've looked at uh, last week, for example, here, April the 3rd, for example. Oh, yeah, I want to go back to uh, build feed here for the build tracker. Well, it brings me back to, you know, wherever I want to be in the timeline. Now, it works with what? It works with everything that is um, apps in Windows 10. Um, it doesn't work with third-party apps or programs right now. And that will probably be the defining feature for um, will people use or not Timeline. I think this is the biggest feature, honestly, of the Spring Careers update. And if your favorite app doesn't work, well, it's kind of a useless feature. Uh, Google Chrome does not support Timeline right now. It works with Microsoft Edge only. Yeah, that is a big drawback. I will totally agree with anyone that says that. Hopefully, maybe support will be added. We know that Google Chrome will actually add notifications to Windows 10 eventually. That means that maybe Timeline could be something they're going to add. Uh, it has to, of course, be compatible for it to work. So. Uh, depending on what you do, if you use Edge, if you use Microsoft Office uh, in their you know, uh, apps like Mail or um, you know whatever, News, all the apps that are on Windows 10, um, well, that will work and you'll see their timeline. So for example, just to give you guys an, an example, if I go through my uh, Mail app and um, we'll see, no for now, not now, here we go. So this is my Mail app. I've opened it, I maybe, you know, looked at some mail or some things like that. Well, if I go to the timeline feature, it's going to tell me that I went through mail. Now, it doesn't show right now, but um, probably because I didn't stay there long enough. But it, it eventually shows. So every app um, that you go through, and, and you can see what I did today. So timeline will go back um, something like three months from what I've uh, read, up to 90 days, I believe, is the uh, time that you go through. So here you can see. For example, that on March 13th, I looked at an article, for example, Microsoft release build. And when you click, you're, you know, you're back to that article or that thing that you were working on, which is kind of cool. So timeline, one of the big features. The other interesting feature, and if you have multiple Windows 10 computers, is the continue where you left off feature that has been working really well. So continue where you left off. When you're on a PC, and by the way, it already did work somewhat in the uh, Fall Careers update. 
but it, they've improved it greatly. So you go on your Windows, another Windows 10 machine, you work on, you, you go on the web for something, you work on an article in Word. Well, you come back here on your main machine or another Windows 10 machine. Of course, they have to have the same Windows version. Um, you will see here in the notifications panel. Oh, um, do you want to continue where you left from, from, from here? So if I was on YouTube, it's going to tell me, oh, you were on YouTube. You want to go back there? Um, you were working on an Excel spreadsheet. You want to go back and continue working here? Um, so that's a pretty uh, neat feature. Actually, one that I've used a lot because, yes, I do use multiple PCs running Windows 10. So it's kind of cool because I can go on another machine and say, oh, yeah, cool. I can continue working here uh, with the continue where you left off. And, of course, all of that, including timeline, works with uh, the integration of Cortana in OneDrive. And uh, one other neat little thing that I kind of like, um, when you put something on the desktop, you might actually find, if you synchronize your desktop, that that icon, there will be an icon that we're going to show you on another PC on your desktop. Oh, um, look at that. I got the, uh, you know, Word document that I was working on, for example. And, of course, it doesn't download the document. It just brings you a little link because it's simply that what you put on your desktop synchronizes with OneDrive and on your other PCs that run the same version of Windows 10, you will uh, see a link that you can click and you will be able to, you know, continue working on the document or things like that. So these are a few of the new features as we're continuing to, of course, check out what's new and what's happening with the Spring Creators Update available tomorrow. More videos and a lot of them this week, so uh, stay tuned to the channel uh, because I will have more of the reviews and I will have tons of videos actually showing you how every feature works. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. Thank you for watching.